the skeleton key. Something's happening. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Before I turn in the skeleton key, I need to give the eye of the Falmer to Delvin. Well, I shouldn't say give. As I'm sure he's going to pay me for it. Want Excuse to me. Go ahead. No, I don't want to. It's what one thing to it? say you've got the skills to be a thief. Like you. It's a mistake to actually use an old codger like me. Absolutely got lots of jobs available. Interested? Over it. No, I'm not. I've managed to recover an eye of the Falmer. By the eight. You actually got your hands on it. This alone is worth more than some thieves earn in a lifetime. After I sell this to my buyer in High Rock, our coffers will be overflowing. Sure you know there you go. For it. You There's heard it. Guard nosing around the meadery. Ah, now that it. is well, an improvement. You anymore, I promise. Thank you. Hey, this guild needs the coin. Walking away without taking work is not going to make you popular around here. Hmm. Even if you're one of us, you As better not make trouble. All right, so I of Falmer, check. Now, I have the other eye of the Falmer. And I've set up a little trophy room in my home here in Riften. There it is. That big pink oval is the eye of the Falmer. Okay, so the little collection over there is coming along. Let me head to my home, Honeyside. All right, here we are. Iona, good to see you. Still haven't, uh, cleaned up this body, I see. Well, if you can't do it alone, have one of the guards help you. It's one of the Morag Tong that invaded my home and was killed. Hmm, that grinding, it must be the uh, blacksmith shop. It must be underneath it. Never noticed that before. Okay, let's see. I think we have a... Is there an area over here for the Eye of the Falmer? I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. Oh, a witch head. I don't think I have any of those. Huh, that would be nice to put there. Okay, well... Hmm, you would think the Eye of the Falmer would have a place here. Okay, I knew there was a spot around here somewhere. 
All right, and I also got a duplicate set of Nightingale armor that I want to put on this mannequin. Coming along, we've got the armor, we've got the blade. I'm not sure what I'm going to put there. I have Chill Rend over here, and then once I get another set of Thieves Guild armor, I'll, put, I'll probably put that there. All right, let me get out of here. As this is a nice basement addition to Honeyside. All right, Iona. I will see you later. Wait. I know you. No, you don't. There it is, the Twilight Sepulcher. All right, so the moon is finally waning. I don't have to worry about any transformations for a while. I hope I can get in here without having the uh, Nightingale costume on. Costume is a bit too much for me. All right, so there's a ghost up ahead. It seems to mean no harm. I don't recognize you, but I sense that you're one of us. Who are you? I don't recognize you either. The last of the Nightingale Sentinels, I'm afraid. I've defended the Sepulchre alone for what seems like an eternity. Alone? Hmm. What happened to the rest? We were betrayed by one of our own kind. In fact, I'm to blame for what's happened here. How are you to blame? I was blinded. Blinded by dark treachery masquerading as friendship. Perhaps if I had been more vigilant, then Mercer Frey Mercer would have me into my fate and stolen the skeleton. Hmm. Wait a moment. You're Gallus. I haven't heard that name in a long time. How do you know of me? I have the skeleton key. The key! You have the skeleton key! Yes. I never thought I'd see it again. And Mercer Frey? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Dead. By my hand. Then, it's over. And my death wasn't in vain. I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. Well, my motives are rather base. I did this to get rich. Were I able to provide it, I'd shower you in wealth for what you've done. My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. Carlia helped me. Carlia? She's easy, still alive. Easy. Calm down. I feared she'd befallen the same fate, ending up a victim of Mercer's betrayal. Then take the key 
and right all the wrongs. Nothing would bring me more pride than to return the key, but I'm afraid it's impossible. From the moment I arrived here, I felt myself, well, dying. How can a spirit die? The sepulchre isn't merely a temple or a vault to house the key. Within these walls is the Ebonair, a conduit to Nocturnal's realm of Everglow. When Mercer stole the key, that conduit closed, severely limiting our ties to her. Then I'll have to proceed alone. I'm afraid so. I'm weakening, and I can feel myself slipping away. The years without restoration of my power have taken their toll. Whatever damage has been caused can only be corrected by following the Pilgrim's path to the Ebonair and replacing the key. Nice theatrics. I see the door opening in the in the back there. Tell me, though, how does the Ebonmere affect all of us? The Ebonmere is a conduit through which nocturnal influences our world. Not through magic or blessings, but purely through luck. Luck is meaningless. What we do involves skill. Yes, absolutely. Your skill is your own. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. I won't. But Nocturnal, she influences our life. Nearly imperceptible assistance we get when we ply our trade. How's that changing the way things are? Think about the guild. About the state it was in when you began. Think about all the little things you might have heard. A pick breaking when it shouldn't have. The clouds in the nighttime sky clearing at the wrong moment. Our access to those bits of luck are what separates us from common bandits. So, with the Ebonmere closed, our lucks run dry. Precisely. There are a few who still call Nocturnal Lady Luck, and for good reason. Tell me what's wrong with the other Nightingale Sentinels. With the Ebonmere closed, and their sudden severance from the realm of Everglow, I fear they've undergone a drastic change. They're shadows of their former selves. They no longer remember their true purpose, or their original identities. Why aren't you like them? My spirit didn't manifest itself in the sepulchre immediately. So, fortunately, I wasn't present when the Ebon Mirror was sealed. However, ever since that day, I've felt my power waning, slowly draining away. Can't you just take the key? I have other things to do. Whatever is affecting the Nightingale Sentinels, is starting to affect me, too. As I get closer to the Ebonmere, I begin to feel myself slipping away. Even right this moment, I feel strange, when I don't think I should be feeling anything at all. All right, then what will I face in the Pilgrim's Path? I wish I could help you. But I've been a prisoner in this very chamber for the last quarter century. The only possible help I've come across are the remains of some poor fellow who is trying to follow in your footsteps. Perhaps his journal can help? Perhaps. I'll check it out. Thank you for the little assistance that you've been able to provide. Good luck, Nightingale. This must be the person 
Nistrum. I don't know why I let Anders talk me into this plan. All right, can we skip ahead here? Hmm. Well, I'll take it. Oops. All right, Gallus, until we meet again. There was someone else in here. It's like some sort of a throne. So sure it's coming that soon. All right, who else is in here? Hmm. Something odd about this. Ah, uh, what the light. The light is burning me. All right, at least I'm through. I can sell that. Well, the statue looks familiar. Namira, I presume. No, nocturnal. I'm getting these deities mixed up. this. All right, it looks like a door back there. Hmm, I'm 
surprise, no greeting. It's usually these Daedric princes have something smart to say. on top of traps. going. Whoops. I wanted this spell book here. There. now. Thoroughly lost. Or maybe I'm back to where I started. Twilight Sepulchre Inner Sanctum. Here we go. This is certainly dark and eerie. Okay, it's even darker and more eerie. Okay. Looks like the only way through this is down. Anders' message. I can't believe it. I came all this way, solved all these ridiculous riddles just to end up here. After I memorized Nistrum's clues he'd collected from Lethelis, I slit his throat. Now I guess the joke's on me because I'm stuck here and I don't see a way out. Hope someone comes by soon. I'm getting hungry. All right, well, I don't think you can get any more hungrier than this. So... I may share his fate. Even wait. The skeleton key. Something's happening. Hmm. What do we have here? It's been a number of years since I've set foot on your world. Or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. 
So, once again, the key has been stolen, and a champion returns it to the Sepulchre. Now that the Ebonmere has been restored, you stand before me awaiting your accolades. A pat on your head, a kiss <laughs> on your cheek. Just give me the gold. What you failed to realize is your actions were expected and represent nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the letter. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward, the prize. Fear not. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. I bid you to drink deeply from the Ebonmere mortal, for this is where the Agent of Nocturnal is born. The oath has been struck, the die has been cast, and your fate awaits you in the Everglow. Farewell, Nightingale. See to it the key stays this time, won't you? Hmm. I'll see what I can do. All right. Wasn't I supposed to drink from here? Oh. Oh. I can follow. Nocturnal. Not. She is the oldest Daedra, known as the Mistress of Mysteries, the Unfathomable, and Lady Luck. Pray to remove bounties for lesser crimes. Pickpocket mysterious coin purses. Pick lock successfully. Prey only at night, preferably in darkness. Those skilled in sneak are most deserving of her favor. I'll try it. <laughs> I don't have much favor with her as I suspected. Oh, Carlia. I'm glad you were able to bring the key back safely. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. Hmm. Pleased. She sounded... indifferent. I wouldn't take that to heart. It's her way. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful. Outwardly sounding angry, but silently content. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. What's this about becoming an agent of Nocturnal? The circles at the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale agent. The Crescent Moon represents the agent of stealth, the Half Moon for the agent of subterfuge, and the Full Moon for the agent of strife. Why can't I be all three? This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the Sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a day. Alright, so what now? Now, your life as a Nightingale begins. Should the need arise, you'll be summoned to the Sepulchre in order to defend it. And you? The Guild has welcomed me back with open arms. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things, but actually the beginning. The beginning of what? Why, perhaps the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. Hmm. There are pockets brimming with coin and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves, and we're damn good at what we do. <laughs> All right. Strife, that sounded interesting. Tell me about this agent. The agent of strife can send forth a tendril of pure darkness into the heart of another, causing great injury to them. Yes. At the same time, this tether will bolster the agent's own life force, nice. making him stronger. This is what I want. Thank you. Choose your path. And your journey will be complete. All right. So it was the full moon, and I... This is half. I think this... No, that's like a crescent. 
yes, here it is, the full moon. There we are. Strife has been added. Carlyle? What? Gallus? Gallus? I feared I would never see you again. I was afraid you'd become like the others. If it were not for the actions of this Nightingale, your fears would have come true. He honors us all. What will you do now, my love? Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid, we'll embrace once again. Farewell, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye, Carlyle. Goodbye, Gallus. All right. Anything else? Yes, Nightingale. What is it? <laughs> uh, where will you be from now on? I've decided to make my home at Nightingale Hall. Since it's your home as well, I hope to see you and Brynjolf there. Mm -hmm. Of course, okay. I may visit some of Skyrim cities to acquire things from time to time. Can't afford to get rusty now, can we? No, we can't. And where did Gallus go? Gallus's oath has been paid. His actions have satisfied the terms. Now his spirit becomes one with the Everglow, the realm of perpetual twilight and the cradle of shadow. So, he's gone? No, not gone. He's become one with the shadows. This is the greatest honor a Nightingale can possibly achieve. In death, He's become a part of that which we use to live. They're a part of the darkness around us. Absolutely. When we say, walk with the shadows, we are asking those nightingales who have passed on to protect us. It's believed that they are literally what guides our uncanny luck by placing their hands in ours. Hmm. That's why the Ebonmere needed to be reopened. Without it, there's no way Nocturnal was able to allow them through. And how will I know if I'm needed here? If this place is in danger ever again, the shadows will call. Should the need arise, a portal connects the Sepulchre and Nightingale Hall. Use it whenever you wish. All right. Farewell. Eyes open, and walk with the shadows. Yes, you too. All right, it's time to get out of here. It's not night time, so I can't pray to Nocturnal. So, what is left on my list of things to do? Nothing more for the Thieves' Guild.